today guys and welcome to my youtube channel in my last video tutorial i talked about how to use concatenate function in Excel. it is used to join two or more test string from different cell in a single cell and you can add up to 255 test arguments and this can be available in microsoft Excel 2007 and latest version all right today we are moving into another section inside of Excel called formula auditing and under this formula auditing tools we have a section called trace precedent okay microsoft Excel is full of calculation functions we have spoken about a few of them as you have gone through this course okay which are if function vlookup hlookup index and match function and also length function and all sort of function that is great it says very powerful and a robust tools now no matter how careful you are as you build calculations at some point you are going to run into errors so what i want to talk about here is how we can audit some of these formulas that you'll be creating within your career within an excel all these formulas are easy to use but it becomes a tough job whenever you are using multiple formulas and combinations okay it sometimes does not give the result as expected it becomes easy to try to trace back errors if formulas are quite simple okay however when we start creating some complex formulas it becomes an ethic job to track back the errors thus it becomes important to important job to for the users to be able to track back the errors form okay fortunately as they provide a variety of a build in tools that allow you to audit the errors within the formulas and correct the errors at the same time we have six main tools okay under excel formula auditing we have the trace precedent we have the trace dependent we have remove arrows show formulas errors we also have got some function here error checking and trace error and we also have ev evaluate formulas okay now let's explore each of these formula auditing tools one by one under a zero okay the the first picture i want to take a look at here deals with what trace precedent tracing precedent of a formula or looking to see which cell a formula uses okay this is great and excellent tools to use if you are ever inherit a workbook for somebody else that has a bunch of calculation in it but now you need to know how those calculations were created and what is going to affect the outcome of those calculations okay tracing precedent cell are cells that are referred to within a formula in an active cell the trace precedent command is used or useful to see the tree of data relationship the trace precedent command allows you to show the tracer arrows which show the relationship between what the active cell and the precedent to that cell let's take a look at how we can trace the cells that have values rely on take a look okay open in front of me here is i have got a sample formula auditing worksheet okay with data relating to what statements of our financial position with ratios and working capital okay let's start with what the current ratio so okay here yeah, i want to know which say that relies on what the current one issue which is what on cell c5 that is given that gives what 3.38 so now to add to add the trace precedent here simply select 
the cell which which is i mean cell c5 so we can simply select the cell that contains the formula you want to trace that is mine is on one cell c5 right then navigate to all to formula tab you can see it right up here then from this formula tab ribbon on the far right here you can see there's a section called formula auditing you can see and this comprises all the formula auditing tools i had mentioned earlier i got to tracer here we have the trace precedent and the trace dependent okay so so i'm going to talk about the first one here called what well, the trace precedent okay so the idea is like the cell has got a formula hmm, in it now i want to know what cells that contributes toward that formula so i'm going to click on what the trace precedent right here okay you can see and now it draw this arrow from the cells that the formula really work on and feeding information into the formula you can rightly see that the current structure is telling me that the it, 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 the cells relies on what on the c16 and what f16 so what if you want to get this actual current ratio value here if you divide the 616 which is all 5471 by what 1620 so you are going to arrive at what the current ratio which is what 3.3a so that is it very simple okay let's try another one here which is what the quick ratio here i want to know which say uh, relies on what the quick ratio so the first step is that which is uh, i'm going to give it a click which is on the cell c c then then navigate to what the formula tab then click on what the phrase precedent you can see right here that the cell um c c is relied on what wall like on one cell c16 and cell c13 also in cell cf16 so if you want to get this value here so what you need to do here is that if you if you remove five five four seven one from the world the inventory value here seven five three then divided by the word the one six two zero you are going to arrive at one a quick quick ratio so which is very simple it helps for to, to bring out all the formula hidden inside of all the cell so let's try another one here which is what the let's try let's try the cash ratio so i'm going to give it a click okay so you can move to the formula tab and then click on what trade precedent you can see the quick and the cash ratio right here relied on what the cell c10 you can see right here and what the cell f16 so if you divide the cell 6 c10 which is what 383 divided by, divided by what 1620 so you're going to arrive at what the cash ratio okay the last one here you can also try this out okay let's try to, to work on the working capital likewise so to see how this working capital rich uh, figure is arrived at so move to the formula then click on one the okay sorry it's okay good okay click on the the cell then move to the formula then click on one this trip set percent you can see so the formula and the cell that relies on the wall on this working capital is what the c16 is if you if you minus c16 which is what 5471 from what from the f16 which is what 1620 so i'm going to arrive at your your working capital ratio you can see how trace precedent can help you fix formulas or understand why formulas aren't calculated the way you expected them to be so practice practice with trade precedent and you will become an expert in no time so try this out thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the exact function 
Bye.